Hello and welcome. I made this video to showcase my first ever Minecraft mod. I originally set out to simply make a popcorn mod, but I kept on adding more and more corn themed items and mobs, and now I've dubbed it Chrissy's Corn Mod. Now the link is in the description, and with all that said, let's begin. This is the corn plant, which will be the basis for a lot of the food items in this mod. You can find it growing in the wild, and it functions just like sugarcane, except it doesn't require water. First item you can get from a corn stalk is, of course, a corn cob. This item can be eaten as is, but you can also convert it into many other items. By placing it into your crafting grid, you can chuck the corn cob and get the individual corn cubes, which can be used as an ingredient in many things. Also, by cooking a corn cob, you can get roasted corn. Now we'll get into the different foods you can make with these ingredients. To make an ice cream cone, you'll first need to make a scoop of ice cream using sugar, ice, and milk. To make the cone, you'll need to make some flour. You can make flour by breaking down wheat. The flour can also be used for other food recipes. Now combine that flour with corn to get your cone. And you can now put them together to have a nice ice cream cone. You can also place your ice cream scoop into a bowl to get a bowl of ice cream. And speaking of bowls, you can also combine milk and corn to make some corn chowder. For a Halloween treat, you can combine sugar, honeycomb, and corn to make a piece of candy corn. Here's one of the more complicated recipes. When I was a kid, I used to eat little cakes like these from a local Native American tribe, so I wanted to do a little tribute to this in my mod. To make the Navajo corn cake, you'll need corn, flour, and egg, milk, and honey. Here's a more simple recipe, cornbread. Just add some corn on top of the normal bread recipe. And here is the original item that started my mod, popcorn. Simply cook some corn in a furnace and voila! You get popcorn along with a handy holding bag that magically appears from nowhere. Now we're getting into some of the weirder stuff. Here's a corn sword that my wife gave me the idea for. It's a little more powerful than a regular diamond sword, and any kind of enchanted book can be used in the crafting recipe. It also makes popping sounds when you put it in. Here is a corn CD you can make by combining a corn cob with the creepy broken music disc 11. The music does sound like corn style, but it's from an old vaguely titled mp3 I had that I was never able to find a source for, corn or otherwise, so I won't be playing it in the video just to be safe. And besides, I think that would spoil the fun of getting to listen to it in game when you make the disc yourself. Next is a box of corn flakes. You can make this using paper for the box and corn and sugar for the cereal. Once your corn flakes are made, you can pour them into a bowl with some milk and get yourself some nice corn flakes to eat. This next part will showcase the two monsters I created for this mod, which are meant to be creepy rare encounters. So if you want to try the mod and look for them yourself without any spoilers, you might want to stop here and download the mod now. With that out of the way, it's time to introduce beloved corporate mascot, the Cornflake Simunculus. This is a creepy character created by games journalist James Stephanie Sterling that I really like, so I wanted to try recreating it in my mod. The monster is a very rare encounter, as I wanted to try making it an unsettling thing for the player to come across while exploring. It does attack, but moves very slowly. If you kill it, you'll get a bowl of lamentation flakes. <laughs> Eating the Lamentation Flakes will summon this gross berry-like creature called the Malignant Red One. If you can kill it quickly, you'll get some sweet berries. If you don't, you're going to be bad time. Like the homunculus, these creatures can be encountered naturally in the wild, but they have a very rare chance of spawning, so you should usually be safe. And that is it for Chrissy's Corn Mod. I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope you will enjoy playing it. At the download link, you can find more detailed information about how to install and run the mod. Be beautiful to each other, and have a great day! 